people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot Fave principal i'm your host shaheen a um, couple of days ago i did provide a long-term forecast for gold and silver in today's video i'm more focused on a small time frame that is 15 minutes or early time frame and we will look uh, at the smaller time frame um, pattern and see where the market is expected to go in gold and silver both so if you haven't seen my previous uh, analysis you can go back to my home page and i'll try to link it um, to the bottom as well mainly we are looking for the bearish price action on the bottom side let's have a look on the four hourly time frame to give you just a bit a glimpse of it so we are expecting for the prices to continue somewhere around in this region um, and now we look at the how uh, where the smaller time frame analysis is let's go back to 15 minute chart So I do believe there's some sort of um, bottom has been made over here. We can all call it a wave one right over here, um, or we can decide at least that one portion of a correction. We can simply see a five wave correction. There is another five wave, hopefully, uh, correction ending over somewhere over here. So right now, after the five wave structure, a lot of people were expecting for it to jump over. However, we have seen a clear, clear uh, structure, which is. Uh, seems not to be completed yet and it seems corrective behavior we have also found a new lower top, bottom as well as compared to the previous one this is also in all of this is indicating that we are basically going through a corrective pattern so the corrective pattern uh, we have seen partial of it let's have a look what this possibility is there and i think that it's going to go up over here and it's going to see a part of either it's going to complete the corrective pattern if it completes then we are going down all the way okay that will mean that we are going to see another uh, solid move downward uh, and then we'll see a correction and further down over here so if the link goes over here we are going down anyway the second possibility is that either it's going to continue downward the second possibility that it can actually enter into the the side wave behavior over here so that would mean that the correction is not complete and we are only seeing the part of the correction to be completed let me see so we are being given this um, the side wave behavior already we are kind of seeing that the price is entering into the side wave so a couple of possible first of all the price actually can go ahead and create a top double top and complete the pattern and go downward the second possibility is come down and then that would mean it will if it jumps up that means we are going to see a longer correction uh, and that would be like something right over here and over here and then we'll go over here and then we'll go over here and go over here after that then we can go downward so this is the behavior we are expecting two possibilities that price is either going to go up create the double top and then move down or if it does not move down after the break uh, when it reaches over here if it does not continue the behavior it will enter into the side wave behavior so this is where uh, interesting stuff is happening i believe that we are going to see uh, one or the other two depending on how the prices behave in this area to me it looks like especially after prices have created a lower low this one i think that the immediate pressure shall be downward but once again we cannot tell unless the prices have reached this one but prices for now um, i would say for new few or next few hours expected to go jump up over here and it's clearly a corrective behavior so even though if you are a bull if you are bullish on gold and silver you will still see at a corrective behavior and you would shall not continue uh, on your bullish move you should wait for the completion of the trend and then see if the pattern is complete and you're looking to go into long then definitely but i think this behavior when completed is definitely going to go uh, indicate that we are looking for lower prices there is also a possibility that what if i'm wrong in my analysis in that case this top which is right over here is very very crucial we can also simply use uh, if prices goes over here and crosses this top that will be a crucial indication and that prices have created uh, a bottom right over here and then prices are started to go up so that this top is very very crucial we can actually limit it right over here indicated as well so this top is we can turn it to red to indicate that the importance of the top 
so let's have a look what other possibilities what other other price action we can look at it uh, what are the resistance levels that we can look at it so we can simply use this tool we can drop the top down right over here so it's coming um, it's coming somewhere around at uh, 25 12.5 uh, percent okay so the jump up is 12.5 percent one by eighth of the previous move this is very important jump up to 50 percent in uh, as far as gain is concerned jump up to 50 percent can happen and they're healthy so if the price is good crosses this this is worrying this comes to a 37.5 but it crosses that that's a healthy indication that prices have created a bottom over here so these are some of the some of the tools that are gonna help you uh, to see how the prices are gonna behave. A lot of volatility is expected. I am personally thinking that we should complete the structure and then take the trade over here, uh, putting stop loss somewhere over here, and and which wait for the prices to go down over here. As soon as the first jump occurs, and that would mean that we are entering into the side territory, and that will be for a while. If the jump instead of the jump we start seeing a smaller correction being formed in this area that will be indication that prices are just getting ready to go further down so right around the lower uh, bottom of this one the price action would be very very interesting to see let's have a look what silver is doing so this is 15 minute chart in uh, in silver we are seeing uh, first of all let's have a look just show you guys on four hourly chart what we are expecting so we are expecting for the prices to go down let me have a look if you want to see the larger chart just for just a glimpse and then we'll go down okay so this is what behavior you're looking for in silver let's have a look now at 15 minute chart to exactly see uh, what we are seeing so we can clearly see that the prices have gone up uh, right over here we have seen that it has found support in the previous stop right over here we have seen also kind of zigzag behavior coming down so i believe that the correction uh, we are entering into the correction territory a uh, couple of things once again similar behavior uh, we have lower end of the channel right over here and then we have upper end of the channel right over here so i believe that we are going to see a jump up over here to complete the pattern and then when prices comes down right over here at this point it can actually continue downward uh, and that will be bearish or otherwise it can actually get into the correction phase and if it enters into the correction phase it's going to stay there uh, for a while before it makes an important move So this is okay. This is uh, the behavior I'm expecting. The prices will go up, and then from down over here, either the, the correction is complete and it will shoot downward, or if it does not, it does not break this lower end clearly. Then you're expecting for the prices to continue downward. If this jumps over over here, and if this jump occurs, believe me, we are into a side wave uh, behavior for a good while. All right. Uh, I hope that I was able to provide some assistance with your understanding of the market. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.